Okay, so this is what we used before, featuring a Mercedes SL65 AMG. Do you like my cars? Um, this is just Plastico fast dry project enamel. It's really good stuff. You can't really see in the camera, but it's a sort of glittery finish. So insert some, some pictures of the calipers when I painted them. As you can see, yeah, it's some glittery sort of like feature to it. So here are the new paints I've bought. So obviously I'm not going to spend loads and loads of money on it. I've only got to do two little calipers. Here, I'll hold it this way. Um, Halford's clear lacquer. Just a little bottle. I think this was $6.99. $7.99 for Halford's enamel spray paint chrome. It's going to be that colour. Um, yeah. I've, I've read a review and it's all right stuff apparently, so they'll use that. So two of those much bigger bottles, a little, the other one was this size. <laughs> taking the calipers off the bike and I've taken the, I'm not going to take the calipers, yeah so there we go. Um, they're on here. Uh, and what I've, what I've done to stop me losing all these little bolts these things, the springs, you know, washers, rear, that's his front, um, just makes a little pocket to put all of the little bits and bobs in without losing it, all, so, so yeah, okay, right, rear and front, all the little bits and bobs in there, brake pads, everything, front, and so you've got a gold bit, and I'm just, it's just two parts, so. But um, this one is the same, it's exactly the same caliber, but I don't know if you can see or not. But that's a hexagon, and that is a circle. Yeah, then we'll have to just paint that as one piece. So, this is the garage then. This is the problem we have a restoration project going on along with other bikes and loads of stuff, and I don't want to be painting in here and then come back in to find chrome splodges all over this new paint and new wheels and stuff so like that's pretty cool isn't it little lego dust cap actually no i'm gonna hang them in the doorway hey i can fit a string through there and the other side tight here have it hanging here and i can spray it in the doorway okay so what we have here is some string and all the parts so front rears I've done one piece just to show you the, the principle I'm doing. So this is just one part, hung up with some string. I, was I tried to find thread, thinner stuff, but I can't. So yeah, I've hung that up here. I've put this, this up because obviously I don't want any of it going here. It's just newspaper, some whatever tape this is called. Um, yeah, so obviously it's a bit further in. You've got this here. So I can kind of spin that while spraying it. I'm going to do them all across different different heights, so I can kind of get it all in. And yeah, but if I want to, I can just move this, slide this across. I mean, yeah, so I'll have to just yeah. So I'll get back to you when they're all hung up. Okay, right. So they're all hung up. Got the newspaper on. I'm going to put a bit more here just to make sure it doesn't get in there at all. Maybe another one across. I don't know. This. It's back there, winds around, goes down, back up again, and it's very high tension down to there. Um, just to stop this newspaper from waving around, it's stopped it now because it was before it was pushing against all of these. Because it's only newspaper and it's pretty windy today, and as you can see, it's pretty windy. So, what I'm going to do now is because you know what I didn't do is uh, I didn't clean them properly. So, now as you can see, that's quite dirty. When I give them a good wipe down with some wet wipes and some towels and stuff while they're hanging up because it's windy I mean, it doesn't even have to be hot for them to dry it's about the air, the air coming past and it's quite you know it's breezy so the air will come past and dry them it's before I had them in my room like a little I had like a little um, like oven sort of you know scenario going along It was made of newspaper and I had a little hole at the bottom with a hairdryer. 
and I was had that on low heat and low low flow and it was just cooking cooking the, all the parts and that's how I dried them but I'll dry them outside today hopefully it won't rain <laughs> if it rains we have to find a bit of tarpaulin to go on the top here and then push the door to Oh, okay, right, so oh, we've got Top Gear playing. Pressing a button. That's, 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 that's not true. To listen to GTR would be worse if it was made of wood. The early <laughs> Very true. Listen, GTR is my favourite car. Anyway, so all been wiped down. This this green, these green patches here, actually where the paint's chipped away or flaked away. Why not? Okay, okay, here we go. So it's actually pr it's already dried. But I'm, gonna, I'm not going to touch it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. It's all right. I mean, what? I think it's going to look way better. It's got quite a matte finish right now. I mean, but when it's got the lacquer on it and a few layers, I mean, it isn't actually dry. Why am I touching it? It's stupid. Um, yeah. It's quite m like a matte finish. It's very. I think the paint's actually very good. I'm not going to lie. I mean, uh, do you know what I was saying about how it's not going to be properly covered yet? Is that? Yeah. So, it's actually pretty good paint I mean look that's what I was talking about there um, so what I've been doing is I've been spinning it like this on the top here and then I've got the paint in my other way I've got the camera and I've gone all right so second layer is on um, I'm gonna what I'm gonna do now is just to make sure it's properly all dried out I'm gonna go inside and just make some lunch and watch some pocket I mean, I think it's like a little, it's quite cool, it's like nice chrome, I don't know where, whether you guys can see in the camera as well as I can, but it's, it's quite, a, it's a brilliant silver, like a platinum silver D, the outside, that's, that's all you'll see, just that half, this is how, yeah, that, this is just those two, obviously I couldn't, as we explained earlier, I couldn't um, get these bolts out, so yeah, I'll we'll be back when, uh, probably 20 minutes, 25 minutes, I'll be back. Alright, so I've taken them down from there, taken the newspaper down, cleaned up, and I've hung them up here. Yeah. I think oh, this is like the third coat I've put on now. I think it's more than enough. Um, just waiting for them to dry properly now before I can put the lacquer on. I think they are pretty much dry. The reason I had to move it from there is for this reason. The sun's there, and this is where they were drying. Yeah, so I've had to move them into the into the sun cut them down and just retied them tied them up here and I'll keep spinning this round like this so pick it up loosen it round and then just plonk it back down again so it kind of bakes both sides so I'll get back to you when they're all done okay so here's here are the parts before the clear lacquer has been added and here's after it's got like a funny grey colour I don't know why it's quite worrying actually <laughs> I'll be honest with you um, I don't know what's going on I'm going to I'm not going to touch the rest of I'm not going to lacquer the rest of the parts until that dries because that might just dry clear I don't know I don't know what's happened so I'm gonna <laughs> the paint's definitely dry I don't know what's happened to that so I'm just going to leave it and see what happens when it when it properly dries okay <laughs> so we'll see we'll see what happens to that so there's a comparison so that's what they're like before and that's what it's like afterwards so we'll have a look so we've got all the pieces just on a piece of soldering wire which is metal but you can bend it between the shoes and the radiator so it, they're just kind of drying across there um yeah, that's all there is to it for now. I mean, we'll get back to you when it's, um, well, I think they're dry. See, they're this type of chrome, and I wanted them to be like that type of chrome. That's like a lacquered finish, like all these little shiny bits. And that's like a matte finish. Right, so I've cut away all of the string. Let's uh, sort this out properly. There we go. So we'll cut away all the string, and uh, we are finished with the silver pieces. I mean, from close up, it's annoying. Oh, I can't even see. Um, there's like uh, some bubbles on it and stuff, but from a distance, where you're going to be normally seeing it, 
come out alright. I mean, there's no lacquer on this. Which is kind of annoying because the lacquer gives it a nice glossy finish. But on the can, this actually made that good chrome. See, that's what it's supposed to be like. Hmm, well maybe I can use these paints, like, on these. Yeah, this is a... Oh god, I don't even know. That's a DFO2, I'm not sure what this is. Someone gave it to me. Quite an old model this is. But, yeah. Anyway, off topic, let's bring these over there. So, these are all of the parts. It so yeah, there we go, and some engineering work, and some workout work, and some watches, and some steroid cream for my eczema, and some shells, a Lamborghini, LP640, Lamborghini Reventon, SL65 AMG Black Series, the company's on draw. Okay, right, so I've brought my bike into my room. Yep, wheels, frame, painted parts, and the packets. So, got all the front parts here, all dried, and all the little bits should be ca covered up earlier. All in here, and we've got that as well. So, we've got this just to assemble, and then that'll be it, really. I mean, this is just a frame, and all the pieces here, so. I'll get back to you once I've assembled all the parts. Alright, so it's uh, all assembled back together again. Uh, good news and bad news. Good news, looks fantastic to me. I love it. I really like it. I mean, yeah. I, mean, I think it just really goes well with this and this silver. And the bad thing is the fact that I didn't give them enough time to dry, so they were still they're still a bit like, you know, rubbery. And I've gone and ruined it. <laughs> if you look carefully, look at that. Oh, that won't focus. But they're like my fingerprints on there. Where I went and I looked, I went, oh no, ruined it. So what I'm gonna have to do tomorrow is redo it. <laughs> when I say redo it, all I'm gonna do is take that bolt that black bolt out, take that black bolt out, undo these two, take the whole caliper away like that, hang it up as one big piece and just spray the whole thing again. One one or two coats. Which means that I don't have to keep assembling it and it'll just be one night one nice finish. And yeah, I mean I think that looks really good. Um yeah I was hoping it'd be like this chrome. Instead it's this this silver but it's it's fine. I think I, I think what the lacquer was doing, why it was going grey, was because it wasn't properly dried. So the liquid particles of the paint was mixing with the liquid part particles of the lacquer, so it was becoming this grey colour. I think if I let the paint harden properly, like properly solid, then put the lacquer on top, the lacquer won't be able to mix with the paint because it's all hardened. So I'm I'm sure that if I repaint them tomorrow. And um, so I, I could ride this now, it'd be fine. I, the brakes work fine. I mean, yeah, brakes work fine, they're all adjusted fine. I can quite easily go out on this now, but what I want to do is repaint it tomorrow and um, then put the lacquer on. So that's kind of how you see it. Yeah, I, I like it. I like it better than the gold, actually. I think I've just got to find some more silvery bits to put on my bike now. I'm thinking something on the... Hmm, just, just thinking what else silver could I put on there. Oh yeah, also, they were two for a pound, right? And the rear one is that one. Because I've got a flat tyre. And I couldn't, um, I couldn't undo the valve cap, so I had to actually, to, to change the inner tube, I actually had to cut the valve off. <laughs> I can't undo that, it's like, just stuck, so I've got that if I can somehow, see it kind of matches, if I could somehow get that undone, that would stick to there, 